Hey everyone, welcome to Smaller on the Outside. I am Nate, and today we're going to be talking about the new Dead by Daylight survivor Yui Kimura. Yui Kimura is the new survivor that comes from the Chapter 14 DLC, Cursed Legacy. Yui can be bought individually or as a package deal with a killer known as Oni. Now, Yui starts with three intrinsic perks. You have By Any Means Necessary, Breakout, and Lucky Break. I was able to stockpile blood points, get Yui to level 15, and have all three perks so that I could test them out for this build. Uh, and you can also see that I've used the Claudette perk self-care because I feel it is ultra important for any survivor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start and look at each individual perk and see just how effective they are in gameplay, starting with the perk Breakout. Breakout is a perk that comes into play when another member of your team, another survivor, is being carried by the killer. When you're within a certain distance, not only do you gain increased movement speed, but the survivor being carried gains increased wiggle speed so that they can more easily escape from the killer. What we're going to look at next are moments when this perk came into play during gameplay. Uh, mainly moments when I was down by the killer and had to wiggle my way free. What you can see here is I get down by a hillbilly. Uh, he looks around to try and pick me up, finally picks me up. And now because I have another UA on my team, you can see that my wiggle speed is increased because that UE is close by. You can see little arrows showing that uh, I have increased wiggle speed here. Uh, doesn't quite keep me safe. Uh, takes me straight to the basement uh, at this point, but I almost got out. Now here, Michael picks me up, and I do have a UE close by, which you can see she goes off to the left there. And depending on the distance we are away from that Yui, you can see that the wiggle speed actually increases, goes back to normal, increases, goes back to normal, and finally stays normal up until the point where, again, I almost get away, but unfortunately end up back on the hook. Then finally, we have one more instance where I'm down by the same hillbilly from earlier. He picks me up and you can definitely see, again, the increased wiggle speed um, gained by having a UE close by. Um, unfortunately, doesn't result in me ending up off the hook. The next perk we're going to take a look at is the perk Any Means Necessary. It allows you to pick up and reset pallets that have already been dropped around the map. You can then drop them on killers as you're being chased later if you need to. It does have quite a long cooldown, but it comes in very handy as you'll see in these clips. This first clip, I'm on the hook, I've been struggling, and another survivor comes to take me off the hook. Now as soon as we go to run away, well, there's Freddy. So I drop that pallet, and then I head off to heal myself, that way I'm not insta-dead. But as soon as I'm healed, I head right back to that area. I see Freddy again, so I quickly duck behind this bush, but as soon as he disappears, heads over to one of his traps, I go back to the pallet, take that four seconds, and reset it so I can use it again later. Now in this next clip, I'm working on a generator inside of one of these shacks and I realize that I can use one of the pallets as a barrier. So I go and I place that down, get some good skill checks done, finish the generator, and then I can head back over as soon as this pops and then take that four seconds again and bring this pallet back up to use for later. So it's good that you have that there for a barrier. Now I stopped because I was explaining this to one of my teammates and uh, recognizing I could use this clip for recording. And while I do so, well, yeah. Here comes the killer, smacks me in the face. And then I'm like, oh crap, get out of here. And whoop, there's that pallet that I just reset, which was really nice. Now the next perk we're gonna talk about is the final perk for UE, Lucky Break. Essentially, when you get hit, you don't leave a blood trail for two minutes. Now, the issue with this perk is that it can only happen once a match, so it really only works with killers that follow your blood trail at all, which means that for the majority of time and from what I've noticed, it's not the most useful perk, and I think that there are other perks like Dark Sense, This Is Not Happening, uh, or even Small Game, that would make a much better perk for the meta that's happening in the game right now. So I had a, quite a bit of a debate 
trying to decide whether I wanted to use this perk or grab footage for it, but knowing that it was situational and knowing that it would only happen once a game, I couldn't really justify keeping it in my loadout. You know, especially if I'm not going against somebody like the Oni, but I also came to find that even with the Oni who follows your trail of blood and collects it, it doesn't stop them from getting those drops of blood from you. So I had quite a bit of a debate again between Dark Sense, which allows you to see killers after you complete a generator, or Small Game, which allows you to get that audio cue when you come across a totem in the game, um, which is really great when you're trying to take down those hexes like Hex Ruin or the Lullaby or anything like that. So ultimately, I found myself seeing Small Game as a much more useful perk. What I will say is I do like Yui a lot as a survivor. You'll see here in this clip that you can still have a ton of fun with this character. They're quick, uh, they're really great for looping, got a lot of good speed to them. Uh, I had a ton of fun running this trapper all the way around the swamp here, just swinging and missing, looping around, because she does have quite a bit of agility compared to some survivors that I've noticed. Um, so again, yeah, you can have a ton of fun running around with her. Uh, finding a good loadout and finding a good build for this character might take some time, especially debating the perks that they have. But I do think that like a Nancy Wheeler or um, one of the other DLC characters, you will probably find at least one perk to your liking as you work more and more with Yui. That doesn't mean you won't still run into the same old, same old fun Dead by Daylight weirdness like hitbox issues as you see here with Ghostface. You know, you might still be looping and uh, get hit even though they're a mile away from you, which definitely tends to happen from time to time. So rip there. That was a lot of fun. Or, which they finally fixed, this fun basement issue that continually seems to happen. Um, but that has been fixed in the newest hot fix, so thankfully won't have to deal with that too much more. Fingers crossed. Join me next time uh, as I do part two of my review for this new DLC. What I'll be focusing on is the giant, scary chunk DLC killer that they put into this game, the Oni. You can see some clips of going up against him there in the background, that big red scary SOB tromping around the map and trying to get after these survivors. He is truly a sight to behold and I'm really excited to work with him uh, as a killer as well. Um, and here he comes just being terrifying as all hell and just stomping all the way around the map and finally finds me and uh, yeah, he's definitely hard to get away from. I'm really excited to showcase some of his abilities as well uh, as I work with him as a, as a killer and showcase this beautiful, chunky new killer for you. Um, but thank you so much for hanging out today. Thank you for checking my review of Yui Kimura the brand new DLC survivor for Dead by Daylight. And make sure to check out Smaller on the Outside on Twitch, Instagram, Patreon, and right here on YouTube for more and more content. You can also feel free to join our Discord server. We have a great Dead by Daylight community that we would love you to be a part of. Have a great night and thank you all so much.